Somebody said it's this story from a while back. Uh, Venus was once more Earth-like. But here's the thing. Oh, oh no. What, 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 what Climate change made it uninhabitable. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. What have Earthlings so we should, done? We need to be, we yeah. do need we to care it. about climate change. Did we do it? Because yeah, we could no. turn into Venus. No, we didn't. I don't know who did it, but um, it's strange that nobody lives there, right? <laughs> Well, no now, one lives there, and there was. There's never been anybody who has lived there. There's never of. been any industry. There's never been SFV that we know of. <laughs> yeah, uh, and yet climate change killed the planet. So, from your perspective, though, Jeffy, as Jupiter, <laughs> did you get a better angle as what happened on Venus? <laughs> that was a long time ago. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, so you don't know. You don't know what happened. I don't recall. The factories and At SUVs, this time, I yeah. don't recall. You don't. Okay. Venus currently has a surface temperature of 450 degrees Celsius. Now, is that 45 <laughs> no, degrees know. Fahrenheit or 4 million degrees Fahrenheit? Uh, I don't know. There's no way to tell. You there's can't, no. You can't, See if you can get an actual estimate, a real temperature of what Venus is. 842 uh, degrees 840 Fahrenheit. 840 degrees. Oh. Okay. That's, that's warm. That is a little. That's warm. That warm. And that's what's going to happen with the heat belt if it's we're just, not careful, America. That's right. 840 <laughs> degrees on Venus today and a low tonight of only 732. <laughs> Tomorrow we're going to go Sweaters Lake of 999. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's a radio show on Venus right now. They're talking about a cold front coming in and knocking it down to 800 <laughs> degrees. And there's a Jeffy up there saying, if I have to chip ice. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay. An atmosphere that's dominated by carbon dioxide. 96% carbon dioxide mm. with a density 90 times that of Earth's. Uh, it's obviously totally uninhabitable, except perhaps in the clouds. Some oh. 60 kilometers. Again, that could be 6,000 okay, miles. Is it, it could be six feet. I don't now know. i got to type that in here. It could be six uh, inches. Uh, Nobody knows. Hang on. So the clouds are it's actually... It's going to be about 35 miles or uh. 40 miles. 35 miles, I'm going to say. You're going to go with 35? I'm going to go yeah. with Final 35. answer. Final answer. 37.2. Yeah. Look at you. It's almost as if you could figure it out. Uh, up where the, like No, but can. there's no way to know. There's no, no way, way to know. know. Yeah. Uh, there's another thing we could explain today. On the <laughs> <laughs> and don't forget, 888-900-3393. Get in line in 10 minutes. Yeah. Uh, up where the recent discovery of phosphine may suggest floating microbial life. Mm-hmm. That's, it just floats in the clouds. Wow, wow that's, that's kind of cool. cool. Yeah. I mean, even the microbes said a little warm down there. Yeah, I'm right. Here, I'm going to fly around for a little while. But uh, Venus once likely had an Earth-like climate. According to a recent climate modeling, uh, for much of its history, Venus had surface temperatures similar to present-day Earth. Whoa. What? Whoa, whoa. It likely also had oceans, rain, Perhaps snow. Wow. Maybe continents and plate tectonics. Yeah, and then, then again, it, maybe not. <laughs> right. How would you know that, though? How well, would you I think know I that? think what happened was they they paved paradise and put up a parking lot. And then the next thing you know, the right. temperature's going all to hell, Venus. literally. And so you know, Venus. Venus just. I mean, Venus had it going on, and then it factories did. were built where trees once. It's really something. Uh, they might even had have had surface life. Less than a billion years ago, the climate dramatically changed due to a runaway greenhouse effect. There it is. <laughs> it can be speculated that wow. an intensive period of volcanism mm. pumped enough CO2 into the atmosphere to cause this great climate change event that evaporated the oceans and caused the end of the water cycle. Mm, water cycle. Wow. There you go. Okay, well then... <laughs> We got to do something was about that, the volcanic was that e- activity. Was that event caused by SUVs? Was that event? What was it caused by? A volcano. Oh. Or multiple volcanoes. So, there you go. Could happen here. It could happen here. On we heat, have volcanoes, heat, and we got a heat belt starting up. Right. So I mean, the temperatures by 2050 could be 800 degrees or more.